So that I need to work on chewing slower that my grandmother ascended. That woman <clears throat> was my heart, not was, is my heart, my roots just, but I know that she's still going to be here guiding me every step of the way, just like she has been doing for the past 39 years. This hell of this world, she, like, all that is a thing of the past for her right now. And she can just, just be happy. I mean, her, her final days, my grandmother was not the person that she would want to be. And I know that she, that's not the way that she wanted to live. Cause to her, that was not living. We were so, so, so close. You would almost think that she was my mother. And my mother had an understanding about our connection, about our bond. She was one of the very few people who could um, talk me down, like, uh, cause she had that level headedness. She was the glue. She was the glue. And, um, she always told me though, you know, as she packs out her legacy, that when she's not here anymore, it, it's, it's my job now to be the glue. And I take that job with great honor and great pride, especially cause she acted out of me. And when I felt down, um, in these coming, you know, in these past couple of days, it, it brought me joy. Like anytime a tear would drop, and I'm not saying crying is bad because everyone grieves in their own way. And crying is good. It's a release. We need to cry. Our physical, our physical self, we need to cry. We need that release. And there's nothing wrong with crying if that's how you mourn. But don't feel bad if you don't cry either because that's how you mourn. And it's not a right or wrong way to mourn someone that you love. It, it just isn't. Um, I really don't like to cry too much because it makes me feel sick, but I, I do cry. I'm a crier, but anytime I will find myself getting to that edge, that point, like, you know, I felt like, oh, I'm going to lose control. I can hear her in my head, in my heart, in my spirit. To, to, she would say, oh, come on now. Stop all that. And I would stop. <laughs> and I would just stop because I can hear because I know that's not what she wanted for me. And I felt, um, I did feel down. I did feel down. I, I, I kind of didn't allow my children to see me feeling that way or, 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 or... hold on one second. Nay, yeah. sorry y'all, the elders of my legacy is, is home, but um, I kind of didn't want them to see me in that way because I'm the glue. I mean, I've always been the glue in my family, you know, it, well, I'm a single mother, um, so I kind of always had to be the glue, but I take great pride in being that glue, you know, the ones that keep everyone together, keep everyone level head and have and focus on um, the bright side, on the positive um, things, because while it's okay to be sad, it's not good to stay in that sadness for a long period of time, it's not. And my grandmother is one person who knew that all too well. Like, you would think, does grandma ever cry? And she does, but she always made sure she kept it together, not for herself, but for everybody else around her because she was that glue, she was. She, well, not what she is. She still is that glue, just in physical being. Now, she asked me to be that glue, and I take that with great honor. Um, I know, Keisha, why are you smiling and everything? Because that's what she would want me to smile. She wouldn't want me to be moping around like I've been moping around. That would not bring her memory, her legacy, any honor, because that's not how she would want me to go about um, life or because, you know, that she it was time for her to leave. And I, I prepared myself, I did. I, I had to prepare myself. You would ask me it, three years ago if this would have happened. I probably wouldn't be here able to talk to her. Probably would be a basket case. But I talked to her, I spoke to her. We, we spoke We spoke of her ascension. We spoke of my ascension because we know that it's it's her part of life. Does it make it any easier once that time comes? Once that part of life comes? No, it doesn't make it any easier. But I, I take peace in knowing that 
she's at peace. And that's what brings me happiness. Like I'm a whole bunch of, of emotions are just flowing through me right now. And then I can't articulate them all, but those that I can articulate is what I'm speaking to you now. So my Valentine's Day was a little, and you probably want to know because I still was out there supporting and, um, you know, still wishing everyone a happy Valentine's Day and, and checking out your videos and everything because that's just, that's just the way I handle um, things. And I know that's, she will want me, want me to just, just be sad because she's not sad anymore. She's not sad anymore. She's in peace. She always just saying when it's time, my time to go home to glory. Those are her exact words, go home to glory that um, it's her time and don't cry for her. She will always say that, always. And it's crazy because I tell my children too, like don't, don't, don't cry for me. Like you can cry if you need to, but when it's my time, just know that I'm at peace and I will never leave you. I will never, I will always be here for you. And once again, I don't say that out of comfort. I say that because I truly, truly mean, I truly, truly believe that I do, I do. But every part of me, every cell of me, I believe that. To my family who watch me and support me, first off, thank you. And um, I will see you soon. And we are, we're just going to, we're going to celebrate grandma. We're going to celebrate like she want us to celebrate. Yeah. We are. Because <laughs> that's what she would want. Anyway, enough of that happiness. I like to talk more, but I don't want to dive too deep into it. Because then I'll lose my appetite. <laughs> but anyway, I hope that you had a great Valentine's Day. What did you do for Valentine's Day? Um, I'm not really, you know, big on into it, but I am into love. Let me just wipe this off. And I am into love. I'm not one of those bitter single people. Seeing other people in love makes me feel love it does like almost like a lovely <laughs> i love to see other people in love and happy like not only do i feed off your happiness um it gives me hope that one day uh i'll be that happy too and i know i know i will i know i know i will it keeps me hope y'all Mm. Hope that your weekend was great. Hope that you had I hope it as well. Hope all is well. And if it isn't, all is well. Rejoice by Jeannie. Rejoice with Jeannie. She's one of our tribe members as well as one of our tribe insiders. Hey sis. She says that in her greeting every video. I hope all is well. And if it's not, all is well because it's true. Even when things seem their bleakest, there's still a glimmer of hope, a glimmer of positivity. There's still blue skies peeking through, through that storm. There always is. It has to be. I was speaking of storms. <laughs> they're storming outside now, y'all. Storm in certain parts, parts of the world and snowing on the other parts, y'all. Y'all stay safe. Please, please, please stay safe. Don't be out there needlessly and doing things you know you don't have no business doing. Please don't. I wouldn't want any of y'all to meet that other part of your life prematurely before it's time. Uh, give me about another one. <laughs> My mom sent me a picture of snow. She looks like on the third floor. And the snow's all the way up there. 
and it's kind of closed off too, but it's snowing so hard that it got there. Everybody okay? It's snowing so hard that the snow got up there by her door for it. And it's like kind of snowing them him. My mom's been dealing with snow for a while. I noticed that she lives in Dallas, Fort Worth. I noticed in San Antonio, they're also <clears throat> getting snow. That's like crazy. Because they're not used to that at all. So the places who haven't seen snow in like decades are getting snow. And the places who do see snow are getting like crap loads of snow. Please, no snow. Come here, please. It's okay. We'll keep the rain and the hurricanes and the tornado. Just no snow, please. Thank you. <laughs> no snow. I don't know. I don't think I can deal with the sense of my grandmother. Oh, my cycle started too, y'all. Oh, Lord. Sense of my grandmother. Uh, storms. And it's not. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> So that might be my breaking point because this rain already got your girl. Hey, it can. It do. But I know everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right. Uh, ooh. I do want to talk more to y'all. I mean, because. It's, it's good to talk and I need to stop. I need to stop. Um, mm, I'm bottling up my feelings. Because it's not the best. It's not. I just everyone wants their own ways and I do notice. And that's what's morning. Good life in general, period. I tend to bottle up my feelings. I need to just express them. Despite, despite what response I might get, I need to express my feelings. I'm working on it. I'm doing, I'm doing much, much better than I used to be. But I know I still have a long way to go. And I'll get there at my own pace. Y'all, I didn't mention this to y'all for any pity. I actually despise pity. I don't like pity. Um, I'm speaking to you and coming to you, talking to you about it because it's a part of my life that just occurred. I know my energy probably is a little off, rightfully slow, rightfully so. And it brings me joy to come and talk to you guys. It does. It's like I read your comments at my leisure and I don't have to like be forced to face the and I know that's me hiding again. I know it's me hiding again, but it's me, y'all. Be forced to face the I'm sorry's and the condolences. Although I give them out and I give them out, you know, uh, not being fake, like generally giving them out. But when it comes to me receiving them, it's hard. It almost seems like it makes me feel worse. Like, even if I was okay and I've had, you know, and I've come reach a certain part where I have peace when I hear people say that I don't know why it makes me even more emotional but I know that's not what she would no that's not what she wants so we're gonna try to keep that under control and please don't come in the comments saying oh you need to cry you're supposed to cry no please don't do that I know <laughs> I know what I need and I know uh, what I can handle and I'm going to get there in my own in in my own way and celebrate in my own way yeah mm -hmm. so we'll be taking a trip to miami soon for homecoming for my grandmother guy i love her so much Ooh, I love her so much. I do. I'm sad, but I'm happy. I am. I love you, Grandma. She just had an 86th birthday on October 3rd. Year before that, I was able to actually see her for her birthday. I have called her birthday in a long time. Um, but this past one, she was with my, uh, my auntie and... 
I sent her $86 for 86 years for every year. God, 86, y'all. You should have been here. She done lived through some errors. She done seen some things, y'all. She has taught me a lot of things. I'll never forget. Nope. <clears throat> I will say this because she was my last grandparent that I had. She was my last surviving grandparent. I don't have any more in a physical sense. She was my last one. I will say this. If you do have um, living grandparents, please see them. Call them. Visit them if you can. Uh, that's your roots. Your legacy. Without them, there's just no way there would be you. There would be no you without them. I'm very, very adamant about Nene going to see her grandmother because she's she's not gonna always be here. I'm talking about the one that lives here, her Asian one. And then when my mom's in town, I adamant about her going to visit her as well because we don't know when it's gonna be that time for us to take that next step in our life. We don't know when we're gonna send from this horrible oh, land. I'm sorry, y'all, but <laughs> This, this world is just going to... Anyway, we don't know when it's going to be our time. So, we have to take advantage. Of every millisecond that we do have. Mm -hmm. I say millisecond. Yeah, we have to... I know my words all over the place, my thoughts all over the place, but y'all don't I don't realize how much I love that woman. I do. I really, really do. Past couple of months, I stopped seeing her, visiting her because first, Corona. Second, she didn't want me to see her like that. And we had this discussion like many times starting a couple of years ago. We had this discussion that she didn't, she didn't want me to see her like that. And I, I mean, despite, despite how, what I wanted to do, I honored what she wanted. But she never wanted me to see her. She didn't want anyone to see her like that. My grandmother took great respect in her appearance and how she looked. Not cocky or heady or, 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 or uh, vain. She just... She just like make, to make sure she was put together, always. <laughs> and she birthed me, <laughs> but she respect me. She respect me every now and then. You know, she don't look too much. She's like, girl, it's cold. <clears throat> She's like, girl, it's cold. And I respect. I put the chichis up, but she, she, she respect me. Like, and my differences and my choices, because she always felt like, and this after she spoke this, she said this to me. She always felt like. um, even, I can't even put it in, I don't want to chop the words off. Basically, she knew that I would make um, the right decision um, in my life. She always expressed to me how proud she was of me. And I always let her know that she had a lot to do with me becoming a woman I am today. Y'all, I'm not negating my mother and my father and, and the way they did for my life. I'm just focusing on grandmother. My, my mother, she understands the relationship she always understood the relationship i had with my grandmother i'm my, my grandmother's i'm not her first grandchild but i'm her first girl grandchild her first grandchild is my brother actually y'all i do have a brother his name is cedric you'll probably see him when i go down for her um homecoming um see if i can get him in a video 
So this is over here. But um, he's actually the oldest. But I was always reared as viewed as um, the oldest grandchild. People many times thought that um, I was her daughter. Mm -hmm. But she's indeed my grandmother. She, you're all on turn. I said I wasn't gonna do this, but I, hey, it is what it is. And it feels good. It makes me feel better. It makes me feel better. So if you don't mind, just gonna speak a little bit, okay? But um, I don't even know if I'm gonna edit this. I may not. No, I may not. If I don't mind, I'm just. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I know newcomers looking at me probably, probably think she must have not been close to her grandmother because she doesn't seem like it. Because the way my deposition or I'm not bawling right now. <clears throat> but don't judge a book by its cover. We were very, very close. Very, very close. Like I made it a mission to see that woman every year, sometimes two, three times a year, uh, up until I hurt my back. And after I recuperated, I started going out there to see her again because family is so, so important to me. And I know that she wasn't gonna be here forever. I know that she was gonna have to take that next step in life and she was gonna have to extend from here. end goal unfortunately that's the end goal when we enter this world is that we're going to eventually have to leave this world yep eventually we all have to leave we do i'm so glad that i had told my, my auntie when she was with my auntie in north carolina i told her make sure you know i know her, some of her wishes she wanted to be in her home and she was in her home and i'm happy that she was I am. Mm hmm I was. I am. Anyway, y'all. We already too far gone, but let's get into travel notification shout outs. And this is coming from I actually have a couple. So let's see. I have to do the Boom Boom Ramen and Seafood Mukbang. I think I have to do that. I'm just going to do them all, y'all. The Ultimate Seafood Boy Mukbang with Nene. I have a Jack in the Box. And I'm going to do the Live Fried Catfish and Fries Mukbang. I'm just going to do them all, if y'all don't mind, okay? <laughs> all right. And then from the Boom Boom Seafood Ramen Mukbang, my Toronto Cation shout-outs go to Daryl Haynes, Costello Weight Loss, and Pink Room Eats. I think I already did that one. Oh, well. There's another one for you. I appreciate you. Now, from the Ultimate Seafood Boy Mukbang with Nene, my tribe location shout-outs go to... Christine Horton, Nicoya Roberts, and Susan Wade. And then, from my Jack in the Box Mukbang, my Jack in the Box Mukbang, thank you for everyone who took the time to watch that. Um, that was pre-filmed, pre-recorded when I was in Texas. My travel location shout-outs. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. Check it out. It's, a, it's all over the place. It's a little hot mess, but check it out. That food was good. Makes me want a chicken sandwich. From that video, my travel location shout-outs go to Ethel Mathis. Hey, cousin. I'll see you soon. Dana Bradshaw and Deborah Cooper. And last but not least, my live fried catfish and fries mukbang. I like to do my live. Uh, mukbangs that people come back and, and comment on. I, I like to do those shoutouts because just because it was live doesn't mean that you're not part of the notification tribe. And the, the simple fact that you took the time to go back and watch a, mukbang, a live mukbang that you can't interact on, 
that means a lot. That says a lot, and I appreciate that. My travel location shout outs go to Dika Brathwhite. Brath Brathwaite, hey. Big Chief, aka Sam, and Stephanie Tremira, aka Steph uh Lafora. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your pop notification tribe. I truly appreciate it. Like always, if you like me pop notification tribe, all you have to do is be within the first three the comment on my video or shout out in the following video. If for some reason if you got you, if for some reason if it's, I can't get it out. If for some reason I forget to shout you out on that particular video, I will double up, triple up, quadruple, follow the follow mid I record and shout you out then. Long story short, you get your shout out. Okay, okay. Now on to the tribe. Insiders, y'all. The tribe insiders are tribe members, so like become part of the membership program. If you like to be part of the tribe insiders, all you have to do is click the little join button that's below us. It says J O I N. Click on that little button, select which you like to be a part of. Or if that button is not working, there's a link in my description box with two little rainbows beside it. Click on that link and it's going to take you to the same place which you can select which tier like you're part of and you can join the tribe. <laughs> Insiders. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to cut this video because I still have to do my gift and it's it's just way too long. And I was like sniffing and all that other stuff. <laughs> Y'all, now tribe inside of shout outs go to Chef Disaster the Master. Andrea says, please. And she's part of the tribe elders, y'all. Stuff with the big folks. D D, and she's part of the tribe chiefs. King Larry415, and he's also part of the tribe chiefs. Andrea Waters. Chunky Funky, my life story. She's part of the tribe council. And keep her uplifted, y'all. She um just had surgery done. Rejoice with Jeannie. J. And she's part of the tribe elders, y'all. She's stuffed with the big folks. She's also a tribe pioneer. She was the very, 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 very first to join the tribe insiders. And I greatly appreciate you. K from Cali. K, my beautiful K. Sponsor for this glass, y'all. And she's part of the tribe council. Nuevi, uh, Nuavi NZ. And she's part of the tribe chiefs. Leap the E. And she's part of the tribe chiefs. Please keep her lifted up as well. She just lost a close friend of hers. And last but not least, our newest tribe member, K got a body, 13. And she's also part of the tribe chiefs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for being part of the tribe. Inside as you are greatly, 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 greatly appreciated. Thank you. All right, y'all. So I think I'm gonna finish my corn and then I'm gonna go ahead and get into my gifts, y'all. And in this rose that you saw in my thumbnail, this flower actually is one of my daughter's Valentine's Day gifts from her boyfriend. It is so pretty. I wasted water a couple of times. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, Nene. I put some back in there, but I wasted when I was trying to adjust the camera. Yeah. So I hope that everyone is doing good. I hope that you had a great weekend. Hope that your um, upcoming week is going to be even better. Hmm. If it's snowing or storming where you are, <clears throat> once again, please stay safe. Set this aside. Nay. Yes. I'm gonna open your gift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So <laughs> I decided to do since the other one was so long, I decided to do um make the two videos separate. Yeah, so if you want to see the box, you see that box. If you want to see uh the food one, then you can just keep it separate like that. Keep them separated. All right, guys, welcome to the Rob program. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me on my extra spicy crawfish. Uh, post Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day mukbang. Like what you see and you want to see more. I did it again.
If you like what you see, you want to see more, please should hit that subscribe button. Hit subscribe from part of the tribe. D3 tribe. Turn the post notification notify of any and every video that we release. Comment below and so that you're there. Share, share, share because sharing is caring. Give this video a big old like or just like your cup of tea and stay tuned for more. If you haven't already, check out the picture. Lay, lay, lay. It's got your channel. I'll leave my description box below. As well as Nene's TikTok and you don't stop and her YouTube channel will be my description box below. And if you'd like to purchase any of your MD3, try five. It's part of our all natural line. That link also is in the description box. Or if you're all local, like your MD3 lashes done by why? Wink, wink. That link also is in the description box below. I know that was the mouthful. So everything that you need to know with the description box, what? Bella. Until next time. I'm going to take it away, Lele. Peace, love, and lots of hair grease. Deuces. Oh, 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 Yeah.